everyone, I hope this video finds you well. I wanted to say a quick welcome to any new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the videos and if there is any tutorial or video you'd like to see, if you just let me know in the comment section. Today's video is a little vlog um, of a recent trip I took to the Dali Museum and I ended up creating a sketchbook spread of the various things that stood out to me there. It was my first time visiting the museum and I actually really enjoyed it. I think everyone knows Dali is the Spanish surrealist artist uh, known for the paintings of the melting clocks, but I did take away some cool facts I hadn't known before. One of them in particular I think was on this painting or maybe another, it was at the top right hand side. It was basically there was some odd texture or some unusual textures at the top right and it was explained that he'd used an octopus dipped in paint to achieve this weird texture and you could if you looked you couldn't really look too closely but if you looked um, enough you could actually see the tentacles um, another cool fact I found out was that he was, that I didn't know actually, was that he was a keen mathematician and he was interested, very interested in both science and maths and also attracted to deep meaning in the cauliflowers. Um, apparently he was attracted to their logarithmic curve. This was a cool painting. Now you can kind of see the outline already in this but when you were in front of it, it didn't look like anything. It was basically a woman from the back looking out of a window. But the more you backed away, it was basically a Abe, Abraham Lincoln. Um, apparently, he said that you can create a, a portrait or a or a face in I think it was 120 or 121 pixels, and that was what he did with that particular painting. Another thing that stood out to me that I heard on one of the tours was that he was he purposefully got expelled from art school because he refused his final art history assessment deeming that none of the professors were competent enough to judge him and initially I thought this was amazing because I do believe that art critiquing outside of, you know, the light constructive kind can stifle one's own creativity. This was a cool area. This was the uh, virtual reality. You'd basically inside one of the paintings and it was quite eerie and like wherever you looked and looked around, it, it was as if you were in the painting. I loved this drink. It was a, a hatter. It just looked very pretty. I'll actually try and do my own. So if you haven't guessed it already by the drawings, the things that I chose to sketch from my visit are the outside building, which was very unusual and I loved the, um, the glass surrounding it, the glass architecture. The maze, which was actually quite cool, the kids loved. We got lost at the first portion of the maze, actually, we went through the wrong way. And um, the wishing tree, uh, which basically, apparently, you can tie the tags that go around your wrist that you get given when you walk in, you can tie those around the tendrils that drop down from the tree and you can either say a prayer or make a wish and then tie that to the tree. And that was actually being held up by wooden beams because it got uprooted uh, during Hurricane Irma. And these are the, the wishing tree tendrils. I actually thought they were decorations when we first walked up to that. It looked very pretty. We're gonna hang our bracelet on here. Such things are spiky. Don't touch it, it's spicy. I 
overall we had a good day. I wish that there were more paintings. There were a lot of paintings there but it was just the one floor and I thought because of such a, an enormous building there would have been more floors of art and sculpture or maybe I missed it or maybe there was a section that was closed I'm not sure but yeah, it was just the one floor so I do I did wish that there was more to it and I did get my own little souvenir clock that you can see at the right hand upper right of this and you put that onto a shelf and it just looks like it's melting and I thought that was quite cool but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I always appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.